Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video I'll be expanding my Florin date run. So here's the date run so far. As you can see it's a full tray apart from three dates to go. Now this tray runs from 1920, which is the first year of 50% silver florins and just 50% silver coins there, through all the 50% coins. And after 1946 of course, 1947 and onwards they are no longer silver. And then I carry on with Queen Elizabeth, 53, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That is where this tray runs out. All the rest haven't even been got a tray. They are just loose coins that I have here of all these Cooper Nickel, Elizabeth II. I have the full set of George VI, Cooper Nickel, and Elizabeth II. I've got all the Cooper Nickel florins. Most of them, though, don't have a home. However, I now have a lot of 925 sterling florins, enough to warrant expanding the date run now to fill in because I've got enough gaps to make it worthwhile. So, firstly, we're going to need some more trays. Luckily, this parcel arrived today. If we open it, we have inside not one, but two trays. And these are the trays that can hold 40 coins, rather than my original date run tray only being able to hold 35. And thus, there are so many extras and spares and overflow. This is my little tub of coins, sterling coins, yet to find a home. We have sixpences there at the back and lots of lovely florins in here as well. But you'll be seeing all those in a moment, so no spoilers. Let's open up one of these new trays and begin to expand the florin date run. In the book, we can see that, like I said, 1851, they got reintroduced. However, there's only 1,540 made, and they are proof very rare. The first circulating year with over a million, which is still quite rare, is the 1852. So the date run for circulating florins begins in 1852 and onwards. Now, sadly, I don't have an 1852 to start off. For every day I don't have, I will put one of these in. A little marker bit of card to show 1852 florin, one I need. So that will go in there. And then when I get an 1852 florin, I can take it out and swap it out for the real coin. Now then, I'll go along and put all the paper in where I need. Only a second has elapsed for you, but it's taken a while now that I've put in every single bit of paper for all the florins I'm missing on the first tray. Which, as you can see, sadly, is quite a lot. In fact, only six of the 40 I have collected or filled in. However, they are currently missing, so now let's get those coins and see what coins I have so far for the first tray. The first date, as you can see, is 1872 as my earliest florin. The 1872, of course, is the Gothic florin design. Here it is. And this coin is a bit worn, as you can see, or quite a lot worn. Here's the reverse. A lovely, lovely design still, though. The Gothic design, a highly praised treasure of numismatics. And the obverse, of course, also the Gothic crowned portrait of Queen Victoria. Another lovely design here. Both sides very lovely. A nice sterling florin as my earliest and first one to add to the date run collection here. So let's pop it in. As you know, the dates for these earlier Gothic florins are all in Roman numerals, so you have to have a look here very closely. We can see there, MDCCCLX, so that's 1850, and you've got two more tens, 1860, 70, and then three, 1873, meaning this one as the next one for the date run after 1872, of course, 1873. And, I don't know why, just got a random little run there. I've actually got the next one in a row as well. This one, another lovely Gothic florin, which is from 18, again, 50, 60, 70, and then IV, one before five, so that's four, 18, 74. Probably the best condition of these three so far. Again, the cool, lovely Gothic design. The next one is the 1887, which is the last year of these Gothic designs. As you can see here, the one I have for that year, the 1887, is the best condition of all my Gothic florins, and it really lets you appreciate the lovely, lovely design. A lovely, lovely design here on this coin, very highly praised by collectors and myself, with the Gothic portrait of Queen Victoria looking very nice, and the date here in Roman numerals, as you can see, 5, 6, 7, 7, and there's 3, instead of 70, it's 80, 18, 87. That's the last year they were Gothic, as then they changed over to the other designs we'll be seeing in a minute. So there we go, I have four Gothic florins so far, out of quite a lot still needing to be collected, but you have to start somewhere. Next up then is the 1889, and as I said, it is a new design now. So I'll have a little rummage in my tub, where I'd kept them, that I showed you. And haha, we have found here the 1889. So as you can see, the design has changed, but still a very, very nice design. We have the four scepters about the garter star in the middle, and the crowned shields around this. Date at the top, and legend around. Very nice. And now this also features the Jubilee head portrait 
of Queen Victoria rather than the Gothic head portrait of Queen Victoria we've been seeing so far. Still sterling florin and still a Victorian a lovely coin. There we go, the next one into the date run. And then the next one is 1891. Now this coin is a lovely, lovely condition in terms of the coin I have. Very, very beautiful coin, as you can see. Really showing off that design. You've got some nice coloration or toning, really good quality, not much wear. And of course, the same kind of condition for the obverse there. Really, really nice coin. So that's the 1891 and the last date I have for this tray, which goes up to 1892. So we'll add that in. And there is my first tray as of current of my florin date run. So not the worst start. We've got some nice coins in there. And of course, the fun is collecting along the way and filling up as we go. Now we'll move on to the next tray. Again, a very big empty tray ready to fill up. Firstly with paper, I'll do that now. So here is the second tray of florins. And in good news, as you can see, there's less paper that I've put in. Still quite a few dates to get, as you can see. There are also a lot of dates ticked off. So let me show you what coins I have for this tray. The earliest date for this tray is this coin here. This is an 1894 florin with a new design once again, three shields with scepters running through, the national flowers, the garter, a crown, a very, very nice design as you can see. And this is a veiled head Victoria coin. Let's get it into the date run. Right after, the same design the year after, 1895. Equally as beautiful, still a lovely, lovely design of course, as it is that same design. I have one more of those designs, as you can see a gap here for the 1899, and that makes the top row three coins on the top row. Now then, that's the last of the Victoria Florins I have. As you can see, the next gap is the 1905. A great year to tick off. One of the, what's well, the rarest of all standing Britannia Florins, and one of the rarer dates of all the Florins there are. You can just make out at the bottom, 1905. And this is an Edward VII coin, Queen Victoria's son. Moving on now to the Edwardian coins, a lovely, lovely design. Of standing Britannia there. I also have the 1907 standing Britannia as you can see here the date on these coins is notorious for rubbing off so you have to look very carefully sometimes to just make out that you can see a 7 1907 standing Britannia florin Edward the seventh and into the date run that goes last Edwardian or standing Britannia design I have is this one lovely lovely condition look at that that is a beautiful beautiful coin this one is from 1909, and of course, Edward VII, as I said. A lovely, lovely coin, now going in to the date run. I then have none of the sterling George V's up to 1919, but then they turn 50% silver, and I have a lot of those ones. So let's get some of those ones into the date run. We have 1920. We have 1921. We have 1922. We have 1923, and we have 1924. There's then a few gaps, 25 and 26. I don't have either of those yet. 27 was not minted, so the next year is 1928, of which I have. We then got 29. 1930, a lovely, lovely coin. Then we've got 1931. 1932 is one of the rarest florins ever made, or even rarer than that 1905, and I don't have one of those yet. And the last date for this is 1933, of which I have one here, and can go into the date run. So that's finishing off that tray, tray number two. Nice to see a few more coins on this tray, rather than just six, we actually have, have 16. So almost halfway to that 40 on the tray. After 1933, I have every single florin made after that year, so it's only just a case now of moving things up and hoping, hoping we have enough room to fit all those loose ones on. So I'll shuffle things around and let you know if we have enough room. They fit with three spaces to spare. Much better now they don't have to be loose. Here's a quick overview of my full Florin collection. We have a few Gothic ones here on tray one and a few of these later designs. Only six though of the 40 for tray one. Tray number two, we have 16 of the 40 with a variety of designs. Some of the earlier Victoria Three Shield ones, got some standing Britannia designs, and some of the shield and later designs of George V. That is a nice tray. And then the last tray, every coin needed for that tray already done. So there's a lot of great coins here, and some great coins still to collect in some of these earlier trays. 
Please do comment down below what your Florin collection is like. Are you date running at all? Are you getting a typeset? Or do you just collect the designs you like? If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like and do subscribe as well. And we'll see you soon for more coins, bits and bobs. Bye.